Hi, I'm David Murphy, the TV Attribution Global Product Expert. Today I'm joined by Dave Barney, the Product Manager. We're going to run you through the TV Insights Report, which is a great way to visualize your TV spot performance. Dave, why don't you run us through it? Yeah, thanks, David. So here I'm diving into the TV Insights Report. What we have here, this is similar to all of our other reports. We have a date range where I can, right now I'm just looking at a custom date range or I can select a pre-selected one. This report is really a visualization of the performance report that we have in our website and search performance reports. And we have another video on those that goes into detail. But in this report, what we're looking at is a two-dimensional visual visualization of that data. The x-axis right here is a volume metric. Right now it's TV impressions, but I can come up here and I can select either number of impressions, the number of spots, or the spend on those networks. So let's keep it with TV impressions. The y-axis right now is set to the attributed visits per million impressions or the response rate. And again, I can change that to a performance metric. I can either look at website or search performance metrics. The size of the bubbles is the Right now it's set to be the cost, but I can, again, change that to the number of impressions or the number of spots. So what we're looking at here is the performance of our networks. Everything in the top right corner are networks that have both high volume and high performance, and those are what we call our drivers. Everything that's yellow are things that are above average in their performance, but below average in their volume. And these are opportunities. This is where we can potentially increase our budget or our spend on these networks to improve the overall performance of our campaign. Down in the bottom right corner, these are things that have high volume but low performance. They're the draggers. This is where we have opportunities to optimize our campaign by potentially reducing our spend in these areas. And then the things that are the gray we call the sleepers. They're not performing necessarily well, but they also have relatively low volume. So right now I'm looking at networks but I can look at this in combinations. And I wanna look at the network day part combination because that's typically how TV's bought. And so when I look at this, it's gonna give me a lot more bubbles. And, I'm, and, and I see, let's look at this one right here. I have my NBC network on my early morning day part. And this is doing really well. I have a lot of volume on it and it's above average and that's great. But then if I look at one of these down here, this is also on NBC prime time. And what it's saying is, I have a lot of spend here, but the performance is relatively low, and so I may consider spending less money in the prime time on NBC. And if I look at one of my opportunities over here, I have NBC during the daytime. This is performing even better than NBC morning, but I have very little spend here, and so I may consider, perhaps within my NBC buy, I can shift some of those prime time spots to daytime spots. Now below here I have a tabular representation of what's shown in the chart. And this is similar to other parts of the report. This table can be downloaded in a CSV or sorted or analyzed here. But really the main meat of this report is the visualization chart. And so I was just looking at network day part, but just to show you can look at this by TV creative, by program or genre. And if I look at program, that can also be really interesting I'm going to see, this is going to be a lot of bubbles, but I'm going to see all of my different programs. And this one stands out over here, or this one here, the Big Bang Theory. Very high volume, very good performance. This is a really good buy for me. And maybe if I look at one of these here, Elementary or Modern Family, maybe not as good a buys. Some of my opportunities might be some of these other programs like Lockup, performing very well, but relatively low volume. And that's basically the the overview of the Insights Report. Great, thanks for that, Dave. And if you want to find out more, be sure to click in the link in the description below.